the Roaring Twenties. In this decade of unprecedented prosperity, America's wealth doubled. The Port of New Orleans was the heartbeat of the wealthiest city in the South, and the primary export was a hypnotic new style of American music known as jazz. It was in this era of opulence and elegance that the people of New Orleans received a great gift, one of the most unique buildings the city would ever see, 200 Carondelet. Designed by New Orleans architect Moise Goldstein for the Bankers Trust Company, 200 Carondelet is 24 stories of history and the only Art Deco high-rise in New Orleans. Placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1986, this building has seen its share of hard times and Lazarus-like revival. After years of decline, the building was vacated in 2000. Then, like the rest of New Orleans, 200 Carondelet suffered the wrath of Hurricane Katrina. Following the devastation, this damaged beauty was able to utilize innovative GoZone funding programs and historic tax credits to rebuild, restore, and recover. Well, leading up to Katrina, I was starting my second year of law school and I just got into town that Monday because I went out of town. When I finally did get a chance to come back, it was pretty sad to see everything. Then having to live in a trailer, <laughs> it just, it was kind of a hard time. I ended up having to live on some temporary quarters for a while, a warehouse actually is where I was staying. I wanted to live downtown because it's convenient to me. It's, it's very convenient for me. And so I uh, started looking around at some of the buildings that had opened back up, some of the ones that were starting to get back together and getting, getting their act together. We started looking for a house to renovate or buy. It was ridiculous. It, it was, it, we were starting to think we weren't going to find anything down here. They had pictures of them finished, um, and it was pretty impressive. I mean, everything about it just that I could see was, was nice. Oh my gosh, being able to work downtown and live here, I have so much free time. I can come here on my lunch break. You know, every time I come home, when you walk in, it's like, wow, this is really cool. And it just is. And when you bring someone home, you know, like a guest, I mean, even, you know, it's always impressive to them too. Like, wow, this is beautiful. 200 Carondelets Return to Glory began when Reliance Housing Foundation and EDI put together a development team with the talent to breathe new life into the downtown landmark. Actually, Reliance, we had not considered coming to New Orleans at all, and uh, I got a phone call, I guess it was in uh, January 2006, so about six months after Katrina from uh, Robert Johnston at uh, AIG Sun America. Robert is, uh, was our uh, acquisitions guy at Sun America. AIG was very focused on uh, the go zone, and particularly on New Orleans because they own the Ritz-Carlton. So they had just done a you know really massive uh, historic renovation there, opened it, ran it for a couple of years, and then got hit by Katrina and sort of had to redo the renovation all over again. So they were, you know, really concerned about uh, New Orleans and uh, reinvestment in New Orleans and encouraged us to come in and take a look. The goal? Preserve the historic 80-year-old bank building while creating 189 sparkling new apartments within its historic envelope. The necessary results? Provide much-needed housing to downtown workers, the Reliance EDI developer team was up to the task, and in 2007, the rebuilding effort began. We asked uh, EDI to collaborate with us on 200 Carondelet. They had a lot of great uh, construction management experience and, uh, and good understanding of the financial structure as well. Then we started meeting with uh, architects and contractors in New Orleans and uh, it was really important to us to find uh, a local architect who had lots of historic rehab ex experience as well as a general contractor that had lots of historic rehab experience for high-rise buildings in the Central Business District. So we zeroed in on Campo Architects uh, pretty quickly uh, because they'd done a lot of hotel historic rehabs, adaptive reuses in the Central Business District. 
then we started talking with them about general contracting firms they had worked with and developed a short list of general contractors that had the same kind of experience we were looking for. We interviewed uh, several. Donahue Favrette stood out because they had uh, done projects in collaboration with Campo Architects that were very similar in nature to this building, uh, primarily hotel uh, rehabs in the Central Business District. So it was a proven team that had worked together doing exactly this kind of project. Basically taking a historic building envelope and putting contemporary modern housing on the inside of it while preserving that historic envelope was just you know, an incredible opportunity. Uh, this building really uh, was a once in a lifetime kind of development for me and for anybody that does my kind of work. Construction began in June of 2007. Reliance and EDI provided the concept and the plan for the historic renovation. They obtained the funding needed for the project, secured from the Louisiana Recovery Authority, the Office of Community Development, and the Louisiana Housing Finance Agency. Investors included AIG Sun America Affordable Housing Partners and Stonehenge Capital. The highest scoring application in their cycle, 200 Carondelet was the first development to close and start construction utilizing the 2007-2008 GoZone Mixed Income Program. The bones of the building were changing, and as new interiors began to take their shape, the restoration was just beginning. The historic restoration efforts at 200 Carondelet centered around the 9,800 square foot ground floor and mezzanine banking hall. Once a center for finance, these areas will see a return to their days of commerce with restored space made available for restaurants, retail, and yes, banking. The ground floor lobby and retail bank area are magnificent spaces, clad with marble floors, wood paneled walls, and solid brass decorative elevator doors and gates. The soaring ceilings are decorative plaster coffers that rise over 25 feet in the main floor. Some of the suspended light fixtures are original, while others are meticulously replicated to maintain the continuity of the building's heritage. With 200 Carondelet restored to its original glory, the Art Deco masterpiece was ready for new life. Joining the rest of New Orleans, it was time for the building to take its first steps down the road to recovery. With a combination of 40% affordable housing units and 60% market rate units, 200 Carondelet's residents are a cross cut of New Orleans herself. The people of this building will consist of a blend of downtown residents, from retirees, teachers, policemen, and firefighters, to business, medical, and hospitality professionals. It's right next to my job. It's, it's uh, travel friendly. I mean, like I said, I could jump on anything and go anywhere. I had a bunch of friends less than 15 minutes away from here. Um, it's just a perfect spot. Look around. The favorite thing is coming up in a building with a doorman opening the door for me and coming up into a nice entrance. But I never thought that I knew it had apartments like this, but not for lower income people. The key uh, for rebuilding New Orleans was that it had to be mixed income. You had to be able to provide housing for people uh, with, in a fairly wide spectrum of incomes. Mixed income was uh, absolutely the best practice, the appropriate way to redevelop in our mind. We were really you know, pleased that uh, LRA and LHFA and OCD targeted mixed income housing and were really innovative in their approach and how they put financing together uh, to make mixed income housing work. 189 units ranging from studio apartments to one bedroom floor plans span the 24 floors of 200 Carondelet. Amenities include a fitness center, billiard room, DVD library, wireless internet, community areas, social programs, a business center, conference room, and concierge services. I love the apartment, it's beautiful. Living here is great because it's walking distance to my job, it's walking distance to the French Quarter, it's walking distance 
to all of these great restaurants and boutiques and it's on the streetcar line so if i want to go uptown to go shopping it's i can get there easily my husband and i we like to jog we just started back up again like this week like i said i go to that casino too so <laughs> i could take my little daily walks to harris and content myself i couldn't ask for a better view i mean Every time I get up, I, you know, I look out the window and I'm like, whoa, this is great. And we, we're getting good neighbors. I met a, a nice group of people who live in the building. Apartment interiors feature contemporary gourmet kitchens, custom wood cabinetry, stainless steel Energy Star appliances, granite countertops, and breathtaking views of the Mississippi River and the French Quarter. Not only is 200 Carondelet recovered, it has recovered the right way. Rebuilt with smart growth principles, utilizing green community standards, 200 Carondelet is a model of historic preservation coupled with adaptive reuse to meet the changing needs of the community. As a transit-oriented development, its downtown location puts residents within walking distance to jobs, nightlife, and recreation. From the jazz age to the modern age, 200 Carondelet has seen its share of challenges. But today, after nearly two years of planning and hard work, New Orleans has adapted and preserved an iconic landmark for all to enjoy. From rebuilding the very bones of this building to restoring the grandeur of days gone by and recovering a gift that was gone, 200 Carondelet is back. Utilizing the visionary funding of the Louisiana Recovery Authority, Office of Community Development, Louisiana Housing Finance Agency, and the Louisiana State Historic Preservation Office, the partnership between Reliance Housing Foundation, Ellis Diversified Incorporated, and hundreds of men and women who invested their time, money, and hope in this building, 200 Carondelet is not only an accomplishment to be proud of, it's a place that hundreds of people are proud to call home.